So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, but now the NBA season has finally concluded. And you see the playing tournament rules, and you see who I have winning and losing. Um, and let's just get right into this. So let me give you a brief rundown on what the playing tournament really is. So, it's 7th through 10th seed on each, each conference, right? And if the 9th and 10th seed loses, they're out of the playoff picture. Um, whoever wins the 8th seed matchup, 8th seed, 7th seed matchup, plays the 2nd seed, which I have the Lakers winning. Uh, whoever wins the last game plays the 1st seed, which is the Jazz. If the ninth or 10th seeds both uh, win both games, they're in the playoffs. That's going to be really hard. And if the 7th or 8th seeds lose twice, they're out of the playoffs. So, clearly you can see right here that I have, um, you see that right here that I have the Spurs being the Grizzlies. And the Lakers being the Warriors. And let's just start on the Western Conference side. I feel like people are kind of overhyping the Grizzlies and uh, what they can do. Because uh, a lot of people are saying that the Grizzlies are going to win this against the Spurs. But I think the Spurs will win. I think DeMar DeRozan will have one of his best games. I think DeJounte Murray will not lock up John Morant, but uh, contain him to the point. Jaron Jackson still not really recovering, um, and I don't think like the role players on the Grizzlies will be able to compensate for John Morant's loss. Like I think Kyle Anderson or Dylan Brooks or anyone like that will put out the scoring output that uh, that the Spurs will. Um, for the Lakers side of things, honestly, just because of LeBron, <laughs> it's the only reason why the Lakers winning this. If it was just Anthony Davis, I, I would not, the Lakers probably wouldn't win this game because Curry... Would probably drop 50, but since LeBron's there, he always finds a way to win in these pressure pack situations, and that's really it. That's not it's not really Warriors play bad. Although I would say that I don't trust uh, Kelly Oubre or Andrew Wiggins in these clutch moments. I I just don't. Um, and I trust LeBron, I trust a championship team in the clutch months. The only guys I trust is Draymond and Curry. And Draymond, I mean, he can't do much offensively. He's limited in this offensive game. He's only averaging like seven points, so, yeah. He's limited in his offensive game, so. I don't think the Warriors will beat the Lakers. Now, um, I do think the Warriors will beat the Spurs, though. So they'll still be in the playoffs. Um, just because I don't think the Spurs defense can... Stephen Curry, it's harder to stop Stephen Curry than it is to have John Morant, so... I just think, really self-explanatory, I guess. If Curry goes off, they win. If he doesn't, they lose. But they also need the role players to step up. And I think the Warriors role players can step up against the Spurs, which um, I don't think the Spurs can really do anything about it. Their roster's just not as good as the Lakers. Or, I don't know, the... Heat or the uh, 
any of those teams that could probably beat the Warriors. The, the Suns or the Jazz or the Clippers. Like, their roster is just not that good. It's unfortunate because, actually, I like the Spurs. Um, but to the Eastern Conference, we have LaMelo Ball and against the Pacers. Um, I have LaMelo Ball. I'm acting like LaMelo Ball is the only one in the Hornets. He basically is, but uh, I have been winning because of LaMelo Ball, if you haven't heard. Anyways, like, LaMelo Ball's playmaking, as well as guys like Miles Bridges, Gordon Hay Is Gordon Hayward even playing? I don't even know. But Terry Rozier, De Devontae Graham, guys who can score at an elite rate, um, will beat the Pacers, and the Pacers will be out. Be out of the playoffs. And for the more controversial one, I mean, I wouldn't say it's too controversial, but I have the Wizards beating the Celtics just because, um, first of all, Kemba Walker is having one of his worst seasons ever, uh, like, since his rookie season where they won, like, eight games as a collective, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of disappointing, I'm not gonna lie, um, he is supposed to be better, Marcus Smart's impact has not been great this season, like, it probably should, but I'm not gonna blame it on him, it's more injuries that he's suffered, uh, Jason Tatum, He's averaging 26 points, but it, it just it doesn't feel like he's the same as last year. It doesn't doesn't feel like it. I feel like his defense is taking a step down. Offense has been more inconsistent. Um, the only really consistent piece on this team is Robert Williams. And I guess Mark is smart, but he's not having the best impact right now. Um, and on the Wizards side, I mean, I don't know. Russell Westbrook's averaging another triple-double. Congrats to him. But it, it won't lead to any winning. That's all I'm going to say. Like, they're probably going to get bounced out first round, if they even make it to the playoffs. So, but I think they will beat the Celtics, and Bradley Beal will have a great game, Russell Westbrook will get his usual triple-double, and uh, Kemba Walker will choke. And, yeah. So, finally we have Hornets versus Celtics. Honestly, it's just a gut feeling. I feel like the Celtics can lose two games in a row and miss the playoffs. Like I'm not really, I'm not really sure, like why or how, but I feel like Lamelo Ball is gonna have one of those like 30 point games with like 10 assists that will lead. The horse to a win. Um, because he's averaging like seven assists. And he's actually, this season, if he didn't get injured, I would have him as the rookie of the year. But I got Anthony Edwards just because Lamella got injured. Because clearly Lamella Ball is the best rookie. But since he got injured for like, it was like 20 games or 10 games or whatever. Uh, I got Anthony Edwards, I guess. And, uh, yeah. I don't think Kemba will do well, either. And the bottom line is, Kemba is the reason why this team 
will go as far as they will go. Because Kemba, Kemba is the key, really. Um, and just hasn't been that this season. And his defensive liabilities. I mean, if you're not going to do anything on offense, then he's not useful because there's nothing on defense that can help you. He's 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 not going to magically become a better defender. So um, that's unfortunate for the Celtics. And I feel like they should just tank the game anyways, <laughs> so they can get a lottery spot and uh, improve on their talent. Because Jalen Brown's out, so they might as well just improve on their talent, go to the lottery. And, uh, yeah, that's it, really. Those are my uh, play and tournament predictions. See you guys later next time.